Hello friends, welcome to another episode in our Coral Draw Design series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this flyer in Coral Draw. Very easy steps that you can follow along, even as a beginner. Before we go ahead, if you're not subscribed to my channel, now is the right time to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is go to File and go to New and um, of course you have this page. I'm using the Coral Draw 20. So if you need this, can you do well to click on the link in the description of this video to get the, this version of the color drum using. Right, so I'm just going to put this in place like this and um, like this, like this and I'm going to click OK like this. Great. Okay, so let's get things started. Like in previous video, double click on this to create a rectangle like this. And um, what I want to do is, uh, you can see I have my rectangle here. So I'm just going over to my text tool um, to get things started. So I'm going to type church and um, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a duplicate copy of this. Um, I'm going to use this for service and there you have it. Right, so I'm just going to change it to the font that I used. Of course, you have all of this in the resource file in the description of this video, right? Just click on the link in the description of this video to download them. So I'm just going to move this here, position this well. Click on this and uh, I'm going to skew this a bit while I increase this this way. I'm going to create space in between. I'm just going to use my arrow key to move that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to my source file to bring in this image here. So you see, I have uh, these overlapping areas. Go to your shape tool and select these two areas. Bring it inside like this. Select these two regions and um, also bring it in like this. Be careful about that and select these two regions again and bring it down like this and i'm just going to make this smaller this way and i'm just going to sample um, a color from the clothes he's putting on here right um this would be nice but then let me sample something around this area yes this is good and um, you can see it has an outline so always make sure you move the outline right click here to remove the outline and um, hold down control while you click on the black here to mix the existing color with black okay so this is what you get when you do that a couple of times and i'm going to select this and make this white okay so select this one i'm going to use my arrow key to bring this down a bit just like this okay great so once i do that i'm going to go over to my rectangle to draw a rectangle like this um zoom out let's see so i'm just going to give it a color so i can see what i'm doing clearly and um, what i want to do now is right click and convert to curves and uh, with my shape tool i'm just going to bring this edge down here like this um, with that selected i'm going to select the church that's the text and i'm going to click on this and once i'm done i'm going to click on this one and delete it and select what i have made this is what i have created out of that right so um great so i'm i'm still going to just repeat the same process on the service itself but I'm going to be using a different technique just to show you how you can use different techniques to achieve this. Select this and use your pen tool to draw this that looks like a triangle. Give it a different color. And with it selected, just go over and select the service. You can see I'm selecting the service and that shape. So click on this third one here. And um, of course, delete this when you're done. 
select um, where you added the effect to just this part here and click on this use the eyedropper tool to select the same color and apply it to this one here all right um, haven't done that um, let's move on so next thing I'm going to do is go over to drop shadow and I'm just going to apply shadow to it ctrl Z and I'm going to apply that again by dragging like this you can see I'm not doing too much just drag and drop here so I'm just going to play with the values I have here increase this all the way up oh, that's too much okay I think that's fair enough I'm going to do the same thing here click on drop shadow and I'm going to apply this and I'm just going to increase the level of the feather here just like this all right great so um, reduce this a bit 67 is nice it's actually a good place to start so um, move this upward a bit or bring this down whichever ways go back to your rectangle to and draw a rectangle here like this of course when you zoom close see that this is not perfect move this in place very well like this so what you want to do is um, of course I'm going to sample a color from the what is actually wearing All right um, so move the outline I'm, I'm going just going to use this it looks, it looks like wine color okay so now that you have that i'm just going to click on g to draw bring out the gradient to and draw it out like this and i'm going to select this orange here so it's going from um this wine color to orange like this okay so i haven't done that i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this going to c and control v right i'm going to hold down shift and uh, bring this down here like this i'm going over to the edges to hold down shift to and bring this inside so i'm going to change the direction of the gradient by clicking on reverse fill right great so um just to add some um extra coating to the gradients i'm going to i'm clicking on the one in the background double click on this line and i'm um, adding extra click on this one hold down control and um, click on the black i'm going to do the same thing for this one to add an extra one by double clicking on this line click on this point here hold down control and click on black to add some extra blacks to it just like this okay so um let's move on so um, i have all of this in place so i'm just going to Reduce the size of this, which is the image of um, looks like a choir leader or the praise leader or something like that. So I'm just gonna put in here, and um, um, I think it's nice, good to go. So I'm just gonna select the church service and move it upward while I increase the size of this guy here, just like this and bring it down slightly just slightly while i still drag this up using my up arrow key select the image and uh, of course i want to get rid of this part go to shape to highlight these two points and i'm um, holding down shift bring it up like this great okay so the next thing i want to do is i want to go ahead and um I think I would add some of the details to it. So I'll just go over to my text tool and um, add the details to it.
okay so there you go nicely done so i'm just going to um draw a rectangle here right and um i'm going to right drag this and uh, copy fill here like this and um, remove the outline i'm going to flip it like this oh um let me leave it like this i think i like how it is like this and um control page down so that the text is in the front and you have this this way okay great so as you can see the design is already beginning to take shape or take form as you you know so go over to your ellipse draw the ellipse and um, i'm going to click on this color here like this remove the outline so what i want to do is go to transparency click on this one and click on this increase the size of this ellipse still selected hold down control and click on this orange to make it to add some some orange effect to it go to blur and go to gaussian blur right so i'm just going to increase this value you can copy my settings like this and um, move it upwards right change the blend mode to screen when you are done ctrl x power clip it inside or just use the normal way of power clipping I'm just going to bring mine to this part here and put it here. Uh, make it bigger. When you're done, click on finish like this. Great. Okay, so I um, haven't done this the right way. The next thing I want to do is um, introduce um, the next element. So I'm going over to my resource file and I'm going to drag and um, drop this inside of Corel Draw like this. Right, so this is um, what I've been introducing next. So right click and click on power clip and click on this rectangle. Double click and I'm just going to make this smaller so it can fit properly to the areas that I want it to be reviewed in. So I think this is nice, this is good to go. I'm just going to shift page up on the lights I've created so it's in front of every other thing that's inside of this. Right, great. So I'm just going to select this and move it downwards like this so I have space for my image to actually breathe. And um, let's see, okay, so I'm going to add some ex ex extra effect to this. So click on G on your keyboard and um, use the gradient. Click on this point and select this yellow part like this. Selecting the yellow part, hold down uh, control while you click on orange change that I'm gonna move it out like this this way so I want to do for, um, for this part also but this image is obstructing so what I would like to do let me see selecting this and bringing this in can solve any problem that's not gonna work right so what I want to just do is just move this out of the way slightly I'm selecting the image, just move it out of the way so I can work with this. Um, good, so this is what I'm working on. So, so I'm just gonna um, leave it like this, and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna move this image back like this, and um, there you go, All right. So I'm just going to make some slight adjustment to this, uh, make this bolder than what you have on top. And I'm just going to move it to this part here. So it's not too close to the edge, right? Your layout, your arrangement is very, very important when you're designing in Corel Draw. Okay, it's not gonna work on this. 
okay so i'm going to select this go to effects and go to noise and um, click on add noise you can see the difference it makes right um, click on the second rectangle to we do the same thing to noise add noise and voila there you go i've added noise successfully to it like this okay so a quick one that, um that's um all about all we're doing so um some persons actually asked me how do you export so what you do is ctrl e i'm clicking on ctrl e and make sure you're selecting selected only like this click yes now this is uh, the part i want to throw more light on make sure the quality is set to highest right and um, every other thing here stays the same right so when you scroll down every other thing here stays the same right and that's all just click ok and there you go nicely done all right guys this brings me to the end of this tutorial section if you like my video please kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you miss any of the videos i'll be uploading anytime from now i'll see you in the next video i love you